Yeah, let's record. Yeah, yeah. Well, sit down. Anthony Busunus, are you two dating? Yes. No. Welcome back to the channel. Um, <laughs> don't laugh at me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yes, welcome back to the channel. Please don't laugh with me. Um, I put it out there last week or the week before. I can't remember, but... It's a car. Well, we have... Are you even going to look at the camera? Yeah, You're just going to be I on am. your phone the entire time. Go. Wow. Go. Put your phone down. <laughs> we'll get to that later. So, you guys gave us some questions for me and Tay. So, say hi to the camera. Are you going to use your words? Let's just do it. And talk to the camera. So, yes, time to jump into some questions then. Okay, first up, we got Harrison Cheney. What do you think is going to happen with all the swim cup times for next year? Nothing, they're going to stay the same. Like, what What does it mean by swim the cup? The cuts, like the cuts to make Oh, national like qualifying shit. times. Yeah, no, I think they'll definitely It'll be the same. stay the same. Caitlin go. Garbs, if you weren't a swimmer, what sport would you do? Oh, you go. I'll I go. I personally am a massive NBA fan and love basketball. I'm not necessarily any good at it, but if I could, that's what I would play because I really enjoy it and they make a lot of money. I'd play softball, I reckon. I did it before swimming and I really loved it and yeah. I want to go back to a team sport that you can still be competitive in, but like it also has like an individual element because the team's like relying on you when you go to bat or like to make a good catch on your field in, so... You want, you want to do motocross? You want to be a dark on a motocross. bike again? Motocross? Shut up! When did you first know that you wanted to compete competitively in swimming? Me first? Yeah. So, I've been swimming since I was like three months old doing Learn to Swim. And I still remember when I was in like grade one and it was always my, always my dream to represent Australia at the Olympics. Um, and it wasn't until, I guess, that I wanted to just, that dream sort of faded when I was around 12 and fat and I quit. And then I came back when I was 16 with that same dream and that's when I guess I knew that I wanted to try and swim competitively again. So, around 16, 17. Um, I was probably like around age 12 when, um, like the next stage in swim squad for me was to start doing local regional meets and like I raced a couple of times through school carnivals and those smaller meets and it, that was when I kind of realised that I wanted to do this at the next level. Mm -hmm. How did you two meet through well, swimming? Oh, is that the story we're going to tell? Are you guys dating? Yes. Do you... <laughs> oh, anyway, I'll ask you that one. Well, Tom Garner asked, do you prefer hairy or smooth body? <laughs> Smooth. Tom, Tom. 50, do that one. 50 fly PB, I reckon. What, what's I'm, a 50 fly I'm 27.3. Last time I did a 50 fly was when I was probably 16 or 17, and it was about the same. Yeah. Elliot Weber, what do you think of a 16 year old almost beating you in training? Mate, you're not even close. Like, you didn't even get a qualifying time for Olympic trials, and your oh. sister got like. Five more than you or something. Don't listen to him, he's probably just jealous. That's nah, all good, I love you Webby, shout out. How come Taylor's single? <laughs> yeah, how come you single? Um, Millie Ross said, how does ocean swimming affect your stroke? Um, for breaststroke, it's like different because the salt water makes you so much more buoyant. So I feel like when I'm gliding, I have to force myself to dive down more to actually get under the water to glide, otherwise I'm just like this on the top. Um, and then depends on the swell but like when you're doing freestyle if you like try to like spot where you're going and the waves are like big you're like this and like you can't spot where you're going honestly every stroke when i'm in the ocean i'm just like lifting my head to breathe and see where i'm going and so i'm just like this the whole time and it's so much more tiring it's hard. like i actually hate ocean swimming so much right now but it's the only thing we can do to stay fit the and lake and like the creek have been all good yeah and you like in my backyard pool with swim around, the band though. which i put a video up of <clears> but yeah, I have mad respect to all the open water and ocean swimmers out there. Alanis Eden asked, favourite suit ever raced in? Oh. I love Tear, the Evicta Venom pattern from Tear. Mm -hmm. And you like Arena, mine. don't you? Yeah, mine's probably the... I don't know which one it is. The one that I currently race in is like the light blue Arena Ultra or... I, I don't know the names of it. If it's comfy, I wear it. But yeah, the Arena one. 
So it fits my big bum pretty well, so. Um, Georgie Dixon said, what are your predictions for when everyone can start training again in the pool? I think everyone's going to come back slightly more overweight and unfit than what they did when they left. But I think after a couple months, everything will kind of go back to normal and everybody will get in their own routines again. I think you've misunderstood that question. It says, when are your predictions oh, for when everyone can start training again. again in the pool? <laughs> I'll do that again. I'll answer that one now. So, oh, well, we can both answer it. July. You reckon July? Yeah. I'm really trying August. to hope that it's like, from late May, I'm hearing different reports, but late May would be ideal for us, because that's only like a month away. Lana Broughton, I hope I said that right, what is the extent of expenses that comes with swimming? Well, we've got an Olympic, <laughs> Olympian swimmer right here on the Australian team, who, I guess, because she's gone to that level, everything is pretty much for yeah. You. Yeah. We don't really like have to pay for anything, but like obviously, like when I was younger, it was expensive for my parents. All of the um, entries, travel, accommodation. Yeah. So that suits, training togs, training gear. That's sort of the same boat that I'm in at the moment. Is that obviously I haven't made a team yet. I'm not quite at that level. That is where I want to go, and that is the goal. And if I keep training hard enough, I will get there. But at this point in time, everything for me is paid for, or with the much generous help of mum and dad. Thank you, thanks to like Funky Trunks, all my like training togs and stuff like that is paid for, but then I still have to pay for my training fees and then you got massage, physio, psych psychologist, like, and all that. It adds up, it's very expensive, like, but Anthony Busunus, are you two dating? Yes. No. <laughs> whoa, whoa. How come Taylor's single? Well, I guess you are single now. You. I love that people think that. Georgia Walker, did you always know you were going to be a swimmer? Yeah, I think so. After all the other sports kind of didn't work out. But I thought I was going to be a backstroke racer. Barb Barley Photography. Who trained more hours in a week before Rona came around? Not, I swim nine do nine swims a week, three gyms, five spins that are half an hour each and then um, 30 minutes of dry land after swimming three times a week plus the kind of 25 minutes that you do before you get in so yeah so for me quite a substantial amount of training so i do nine swim sessions as well three gym sessions i only do spin once a week but then i'll get to the pool an hour before i get in and i'm activating the whole time and then once i get out of the pool and finish training I'm there for another half hour, 45 minutes of stretching. So that's why it extends how long I'm at the pool, so. Jared Herman, whose feet are bigger? Put Yours. Up. Put them up. He wears like a size. I'm 11, um, I'm a US 11. And I'm a US 9. Peach Puzz, is a hot dog a sandwich? <laughs> no. Nah, I don't think it is, hey. Who's lazier? You. Um, Who's the person you most admire? by Fabre Gaspar. For me, I'm going to take that as like a role model and someone that I've looked up to growing up. And obviously being a swimmer, Michael Phelps is the greatest swimmer of all time and just his dedication and his talent and everything to the sport. But also for me, being a big basketball fan, I really admire LeBron James. Just like his dedication and drive in the sport and just like looking after his body and everything he does. Everything is basketball and yeah, I, I just really look up to him and I'm obviously a bit of a fan, so... I used to look up to Liesl Jones when I was little because she's like Australia's best breaststroker and like I still do admire her. I think the times she's posted are really amazing because they're super hard to beat. <laughs> Someone I really like to look up to in my Griffith University swim team is Emma McKeon because the way she carries herself is just like the next level of professionalism. Like she's always last out of the gym, um, but pays a lot of attention to the detail in the pool and yeah, it just doesn't, doesn't muck around as much as what we do. <laughs> Withers Max, 2005. Why is swimming so shit? Man, we're, Fucking tell me about we're gonna need like another half an hour video to answer that one. Yeah. Holy God. What are your hobbies and likes? Asked by Mariessa19. My hobbies and likes are music, freediving, eating, <laughs> cooking. For me. Art and studying animal ecology. My hobbies and likes 
Let me see, swimming. Basketball. Basketball, yes, massive NBA fan. TikTok. No, Instagram, that's not true. Facebook. No. Twitter. <laughs> Twitter? Bebo. Who uses Twitter? What is that? Locky Veno, fastest lap for sprint. I assume that's a 53 long course. I go 22. What's your fastest lap? 26.9. Ooh, so fast. So slow. <laughs> John Mann, 2020, says feet. Taylor McEwen asked me, who is more <laughs> likely to win a race where you do a 100 metre free into a 100 metre breaststroke? See, I reckon I would win this because the gap in 100 free is like he would only get like seven seconds on me. And the like... gap in breaststroke is is going to be more between us. I feel so like a closer race for us would be 150 with 100 free and then a 50 breaststroke. All right, two more questions. Penny, XOXO. Tips on how to get back into swimming slash race that racing after quitting three slash four years ago. Don't. <laughs> but if you do love it, go ahead. If you feel like it's gonna make your life better and more enjoyable, then go ahead and do it. If you've got the drive to do it and you know you're gonna be committed and do everything that you can to stay committed to it and not just do a half-assed effort, then by all means, I would 100 percent say do it. But if you're going into it unsure and just trying to do it for a bit of fun. You're then not you, ready. You're just going to be wasting your time, I guess. And money. Jared Hughes. Just giving him a shout out because he did a question which is like lame, but I'm not going to answer it. And Brett Boyd. How to put a swim cap on. You have to hold it on your forehead. Yeah, well you went before I had it. <laughs> I think that's all the questions. So, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for sending those in. No. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thank you to Taylor right. for joining me. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Did you say thank you? That's it.